I did some gardening today. I'm not a green thumb person, not at all. But we inherited some planting boxes when we rented this house, and I do my best to keep them looking decent. I bought some dahlia bulbs, which inspired this Saturday morning yard work session. It's amazing to me how cathartic it is to pull weeds. It's a kind of progress you can really see. And it puts all my anxious energy to work, releasing the tension one weed at a time. Midway through my project, one particular plant was giving me trouble. I pulled and dug and pulled and couldn't get it to budge. It had become my nemesis and I vowed to never rest until it was vanquished. After quite a bit of digging and pulling and cursing at it, I found myself peering into a two foot deep hole, fighting with an inch thick root that had no intention of coming to an end anytime soon. In that moment, it dawned on me, therapy is like this. I see my struggles and problems like weeds, and I assume that I can just walk up to them and pull them out, no problem. But the more I dig into my issues, the more I realize how deep the roots go. They're deeper than I could have imagined when I started this process. That doesn't mean I should give up digging. No, 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 no. But sometimes I get myself into a two foot deep hole and I have to call it a day. Cut the weeds back as much as I can for today and tackle them again tomorrow, slow and steady. The weeds may always grow back. Weeds are resilient. But in the meantime, I'm learning how resilient I can be too. Snail Mail Superstar here, doing a little gardening, and I found a friend. Hey, Snail, you got any, uh, any mail in your snail box? <laughs>